Everything's done. Sorry, I have a bad throat. So, hope you guys can hear me. So, how many of you guys play games? Like, it could be a mobile game or a computer console. So, a fair majority of you. Right? Um, so, I left my object in my car because I was in a rush, but my object was an, a big autographed poster by a bunch of professional gamers from League of Legends. And um, why I'm incredible to speak about League of Legends, I've been a gamer since I was five, so it's been about 14 years, but I've only been playing League for about a year. And today I want to talk to you more about professional League of Legends, a little bit about League of Legends and how I identify myself with the culture. So first of all, League of Legends was created in 2009 by a company called Riot Games. And in 2012, it was the most popular and most played PC game in the United States. And it's basically a multi, it's called, a, it's genreized as a MOBA, which is a multiplayer online battle arena. And the game consists of two teams, each has five per team, and you have to have a really good sense of teamwork and communicate with the people you play with in order to beat the other team. Uh, however, it's usually with a bunch of random people, so you really have to have good communication skills and be ready to understand people who are having a bad day. Usually when I play, there's a bunch of people who are having a rough day and you just got to talk to them, things like that. And um, Basically, League of Legends has become so popular that we have professional side. It's played all over the world from places you wouldn't even think about like Brazil to Korea and Korea it's really popular. And um, basic and League of Legends was recognized by the United States as a sport too because so many people played it and it was becoming so popular. And Riot Games makes a lot of money a year. Um, my friends have spent thousands of dollars collectively on this free game. Uh, yeah, I know. Um, it's also, there's also talk that it's going to be an Olympic sport sometime in, 20, in 2020, and that's pretty cool because it's changing the way that we perceive games and sports. Because professional players, I've talked to a few uh, when I got their autographs, and they, they practice countless hours a day, they practice almost um, over 12, and all they have time for it is to eat, take out the trash, and go back to, you know, playing to practice. Um, and I just talked a little bit about League of Legends, and I'm going to talk about how I identify myself with the culture. So, I started about a year ago, and um, I'm a very angry person. I have anger management issues, <laughs> and um, my form of stress relief and anger management used to be sports a lot. I used to work out like four to five hours a day, but then I kept on getting injuries, as you can see, <laughs> and I couldn't play, so so I was sitting at home angry, like you guys know the, the people in the commercial, like the Snickers commercials, it's like <laughs> Snickers, or um, I would be a person staring at the wall like, um, it's pretty funny because when I was, when I broke my wrist, I was like walking into walls and my friend had to guide me. Mm -hmm. Like, no, 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 that's a corner. <laughs> this is like, so um, that's when I started going back into games. And recently, when I started playing League, I was going through a really difficult time. Um, I had a lot of family problems. And I made a lot of friends through, through League and they got me through it. So that's why I, I identify myself with the culture. 